Care to join me, Kratos? Have a seat, think about your breathing, try and find stillness in your mind? No. I'm just gonna keep working on this till you're ready to head out. Hey, wait. We're with you. Indeed. You have proven worthy of great responsibility, Master Kratos. Please forgive me if I've been abrupt or at all impertinent of late. The loss of Madame Neathog weighed heavily upon me, even before the grave uncertainties of this Garm episode. I do sincerely apologize for my rude demeanor during this time. I did not notice. You are being polite, of course. My demeanor was impudent, borderline cruel. Surely this was a source of some discomfort for you. No. My conversational wounds run deep then, and you would hide the scars. I swear, Master Kratos, I will make it up to you someday. Until we meet again. Great. You gonna check in on Freya? Yes. Glad I get to come this time. So what happened the last time you were in Vanaheim? I still don't know how you got Freya to stop trying to kill you. We traveled to her village to break Odin's spell. Once freed, she accepted that I was not her enemy. You also missed a highly entertaining moment where Brock was lifted ass over face in Freya's camp. You met Freya? What's he like? Different from his sister. Lacks her conviction. True. But he's a bit quicker to forgive. And an ineffective leader. But his heart's in the right place. You'll like him, lad. Wow. It's beautiful. And, uh, wet. It is also dangerous. More dangerous than hell? What's this thing? Some kind of altar? I do not know. Freya's camp is to the right. No rush, is that? Not every day the lad gets to see a new realm. To Freya's camp, then. Time to see how the Vanir have fared in our absence. I hope Freya's okay. She can care for herself. We're still checking on her, though? Her brother's forces are outnumbered. And there is much I hope. <laughs> the other half of the broken moose behind seed we found. We can take it to a mystic gateway. Maybe we'll find Sutter's combat trials. Hmm. 
No one here. Where is everyone? Stay alert. I don't like this, brother. Kratos, Atreus, a welcome reunion. Unexpected, but welcome. You know us? Can't be. Is that who I think? Oh, you shifty bastard. It's almost good to see you again. And for once in the shape of a man, or nearly. So that's how they got your head out of your ass. Maybe now you'll stop being such a half-blind, piss-drunk, oversexed liar. He was more of a pig than I ever was. I do not know you. Do you not recognize your handiwork? Hildis Vini! Remember when we first met Frey in the woods? After I... Oh... I am so... so sorry about that. Freya's poor. Her advisor. And friend. Counselor to the Vanir. And yes, while exiled at Midgard, I was trapped in my boar form. And then you shot me. At my command. No. My arrow, my mistake. Forgotten. Vanaheim needs our help more than ever. Even Mimir's. Come. Just watch where you aim that bow of yours. My hide's not so thick in this form. We can head out whenever you're ready. Where are we going? I have a favor to ask. I'll explain on the way. Where's Freya? She came here to help her brother. She leads the search party for Freya and Bigvir. They've been captured by the Ainher Yard. How did that happen? An ambush. The presence has intensified since your last visit. To make matters worse, the Celestial Wolves haven't been seen in days. Or at least I assume. Not easy, tracking time with no moon in the sky. No moon. Just like in their shrine. Their shrine? It's a long story. You want us to check on them? You have my gratitude. We're spread thin. And if anyone can help Skoll and Hati, he'd be a fellow giant. Very well. Freya mentioned you away past us. Don't disappoint. Continue down this path and you'll find their den. Good luck. And don't shoot any boars. <laughs> you think he's really forgiven me for shooting him? Trust me, lad. The old swine still carried a oh! grudge. You'd know it. What happened between you two? The usual. Miscommunication, conflicting loyalties, broken promises. Nothing to concern yourself with. I'm not concerned. Just curious. Curiosity's all well and good. But so is privacy, huh? Okay, okay. Point taken. Well, 
Coleman Brian. Look out! and feels so different from the other realms. It's warm, like Svartalfheim, but there's a kind of thickness in the air. Hmm. Egros. Uh, what? Egros. Greek. For humid. Egros. I like it. By a knocking, perhaps. Doubtful. <clears throat> I think we can get through here. Going for more loot, huh? I saw a forge back at Freyr's camp. Has Brock been helping them out this whole time? Ah, you haven't met Lunda yet. Who's Lunda? An old contemporary of the Hulder brothers. She serves as Freyr's blacksmith, keeping his team armed and outfitted. Oh, another legendary blacksmith? I bet she has some good stories. Take caution, Atreus. What? Why? She is quite... friendly. <laughs> Oh, nonsense. The lad's far too young for her taste. Uh, <laughs> what?
You know, lad, this excursion into Vanaheim means you've now visited each of the Nine Realms. Huh. Guess you're right. Not many mortals can claim such a feat. Not many gods either. Even your father has yet to grace the halls of Asgard. I'm in no hurry to do so. Thought as Vini said both Frey and Bigvir were captured. Bigvir's the light elf who wanted to learn more about that library in Alfheim, right? Correct. An exiled scholar married to a warrior, Bela. Why was he exiled? You'll have to ask him for the full tale. But I take it that he and Bela's quest to unite their people was frowned upon. Wait, Bela's a dark elf? Yes. Wow. Well, that raises even more questions. Hope he's OK. Hey, near your barricades. Aye, not a good sign. They've pushed farther into the jungle since our last visit. You once told us Ragnarok begins when Golan Hagen catches the sun and moon, right? I said it was foretold, lad. Prophecy. Which, after our time with the Norns, we've all had quite enough of. But Odin still believes. That's gotta be why the Einherjar stole the moon. He's still trying to avoid Ragnarok. Or he prepares for it. Fights a proxy war in this realm to distract his enemies. Yeah. Or that, I guess.
I can sense them up there. It's gotta be their den. <laughs> Excited to meet Skull and Hearty, lad. I mean, I've heard all your stories. It's gonna be weird meeting them in person. Legend meeting reality. At the very least, it shouldn't fail to entertain. I think they're sleeping. Well, there you have it. The legendary celestial wolves. Supremely entertaining, as promised. Remember their shrine? They didn't rejoin the sky until after the moon returned. And then chased an arrow across the sky. Right. Well, guess we go find the moon and put it back where it belongs, eh? As if that's a perfectly normal thing to say. Yar played a part according to Skull and Hati Shrine. Managed to stuff the moon inside a box, if memory serves. But it didn't say where they took the box. Aye, that's the rub of using prophecy as a map, isn't it? Bit sparse on the details. There's a war camp in the nearby village. A strong fortress to guard their bounty. We will try there first. So besides Hildesvini and the elves, who else is part of Freyr's army? Not much <laughs> army, really. Although Beergirl was a soldier. Once walking the path of a traveler, I imagine he's handy with that enormous broken sword of his. A traveler that doesn't want to kill us. That's nice. Again. Guess they know we're coming. I can't believe no one's here. They hide. The Vanir aren't all hardened warriors like our dear Freya. 
Those who survive the warfare find it easier to hide in the jungle and use nature as their shield. Okay, here we go. Uh... Empty. Where'd they all go? Wait, there's the moon. Uh, box? Down there. That's gotta be it. Definitely an ambush. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. You oh. Bye, Fawn. Tread oh. carefully, brother. Yeah. <laughs> That puts a dent in Odin's forces, at least for the time being. I don't think Asgard's running out of soldiers anytime soon. Ready to put the moon back where it belongs? Okay, yeah. That is a weird thing to say. Hey! Hurry! She's getting away! Uh... Come on! Good. <laughs> 
There! He's going up the waterfall! Watch out! Left side! He's still up there. Another ambush? Really? Third time's the charm. They are not smart. I and does that. You know, what we're doing right now, all of this, it's almost exactly how we saw it play out back in Skull and Hati Shrine. The wolves are back in Vanaheim. We're rescuing the moon. Yes. I remember the prophecy. So, doesn't it make you worried? Everything we're doing now happened in the Yonar Shrine. Remember our agreement. Prophecy will not dictate our actions. Yeah. Our allies need help. That is our focus now. From Helheim. Timed almost to grab this while I freed Garm. Ugh. I was there, but I, I didn't know. And now you fight to undo the damage. Your guilt is misplaced. Yeah. No, you, you're right. So. 